so a lot of you ask me sir you tell me about cbct how to interpret it so today i'll show you the interface so as you can see here this is the volumetric representation of a patient and uh, you can see missing tooth in the 37 and 4647 is also missing so you can rotate it you can just open it up and you can uh, even expand it even more so we can see here there's a bridge placed here temporary bridge i think so this is the axial section so at the crest you can see you can place an implant over here so the patient has a bridge so this is a bridge you can see some artifacts metal artifact patient wants to remove the bridge and place an implant so we'll see how much crystal bone is there so we'll just mark the millimeter sign here and we can measure the crystal bone it's very easy it's around i think 8 to 9 mm yes around 8 mm bone is there here this is the coronal section so you can see the tooth medial distally and this is the transverse section you can expand it also and see a lot of bone is there for the implant placement so you can move this cursor and along with that you can see all the planes are moving so you want to see the root tip of this root canal treated tooth so you can just see the root tip if there is any infection so filling is very nice and uh, the same thing you can see in this in this section like an IOP you see and here you can see the palatal root separately so I'm scrolling with the mouse actually so we are going more palatally now and we can see the palatal root here there is there was some infection which has healed due to the placement of a good quality calcium hydroxide just here and you can move the cursor at different points so if you just want to see this place this will appear like this in the exam section and like this in the coronal section.